What's going on guys? Today is Friday the 7th. I'm outside the gym currently right now. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna run in here and do a quick workout. Lots of things on the horizon for today. I'm gonna break down and tell you all about it. I'll be right back after these messages. Okay, just got back from the gym. I was working out and this, I have this mask and it's like a, a stretchy material. I know it's not a medical mask, but uh, I had no idea. I never thought of this since it got wet. When I'm in there, it can, I guess it could breathe when it's like close to my mouth, but when it's not and it's like I'm sweating on it, it was like causing me where I couldn't breathe very well. It was not fun, so I don't recommend that. Watch out what kind of mask you wear to the gym. Here, you have to wear mask, even if you're on a treadmill running at like a nine uphill at like a, an 11 incline, you gotta wear that mask. And uh, that's not fun. I just pretend I'm like training in the in the Alps or something high, some high elevation in Colorado. <laughs> anyway, um, so I took it, I took it, uh, you know, I took it easy on my back, but uh, this time it's been about, I'm about 17 times into working out and I'm actually starting to feel, uh, you know, when I'm, I'm doing dumbbells, for example, I was able to do 65 dumbbells on each side, uh, you know, from where I was before, you know, I could do like, 100s you know 90s were very common like 90s were like every workout or maybe 85s 85 90s some you know 95 let's do 100 whatever uh and now i'm you know 65 so it feels better that it's starting to come back some uh because when it was in the 45 range i felt a little like i just started back at the gym which i did but uh haven't been <laughs> it's like come on get up just a little bit let's get some more let's at least get in the 60s so we're getting there um, triceps are coming back a lot of the strength coming back nothing like it was I think that's gonna take some fine-tuning to get it into that higher echelon of, of, of where I was at but it felt really good just to be you know just to be where I'm at anyway it is 1030 I need to get to to work um, camera cut off there for a minute I need to get to work uh, I've got an important day I'm gonna take you with me I'm gonna show you what's up and then I'm gonna explain all right, got all cleaned up for the office today. Uh, I've got one of these, uh, it's like a Revive Kombucha. I've had one, it's called Cola, and it's pretty good since I don't really drink, really drink, I don't hardly ever drink a Coke or anything. Um, <clears throat> the one that's that's Cola um, tastes pretty, pretty much like a Cola. This one's one and a half servings, and it's 30 calories a serving, so... Not very many calories. I got ginger lime this time though. Anyway, the other one was really good. I recommend. All right, big day at the office. Uh, let's get going. By the way, one other thing I want to tell you that was that, uh, you know, I've been using that uh, that everything bagel. Uh, you know, it's, it's like salt, some sort of like seasoning, and then it has like onion, dried up onions on it. And I've been using that, you know, Philadelphia cream cheese in the morning on those cauliflower bites, which are Mmm, 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 delicious. But when I eat that, for some reason it could be the salt and the garlic. And then I go to the gym, it kind of sits on my stomach and kind of like, I think it's that garlic <clears throat> gives me a little bit of heartburn. So I got I to gotta rethink that. I love it so much, but may not be the go-to that I've been going to before the gym. Might have to change it up. All right. I'm here. I went in one of those little private booths so I could talk, but um, I kind of wanted to update you what's going on with me, and, and uh, I've decided to take some big steps and make some changes. And after you know lots of thought and consideration, what's what's best for me and my family in the direction that I'm heading, I've decided to leave the real estate team that I'm on and just go on my own. Being on a team has lots of, you know, pros and cons. There's lots of benefits to it. I've made lots of friends. Um, you know, when I have questions about things, I've had people I could go to. Um, that's helped me in, in that's helped me, uh, you know, with getting through my escrows. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today without being on the team that I was on. I've learned so much. 
I've closed five different escrows. And with that, people tell me that closing five escrows, you know, their first year, year of real estate is more than a lot of other people, um, which, which is great. But for me, the way the splits have been um, and getting paid, by the time I get paid, I live here in Los Angeles and you know, the, and the cost of living here is extremely high. So by the time the splits are done and then I get paid, it's just not enough, in my opinion, uh, for all the work you do, especially when I've been on the buyer's side. Um, you know, like we, if the number came from Zillow, it would be 35% would go to Zillow and then 50% would go to my team. And then there'd be another, um, until you capped, there'd be a percentage, 10%, you know, of it would go to Keller Williams. And then you'd have to take out your taxes and then I'd get paid. And by the time I got paid, it was so, I just, honestly, I felt like it wasn't enough for all of the work basically someone gave me the number and I did everything to bring it all the way through and uh, it's just it's just not cutting it so with that I've decided to head in a different direction and go on my own so I've yet to make that call which I need to make that call and have that conversation and so here I go so with everything going on I'm very excited about the future and where I'm headed which means I'm really gonna have to double down and buckle down on myself but in order to get where I want to be, I am going to have to believe in myself. And the voice inside me kept telling me, you need to go on your own. This is not cutting it. And I'm so thankful for the opportunities that I had to get to where I am. But it's time to move on. And so with that, I've decided that today will be my last day on the team. All right. Well, as you see, that was it. Uh, sorry this video is not too long. There's not too much to it. But I just wanted to make sure you guys were with me as I went through this and to tell you some of the reasons why I went through this. I honestly believe for my future, the things that I need to learn how to do and where I want to be, I had to make these changes. And so now there's pressure on me to perform and to move on to the next step. And in a lot of ways, that's the best way I perform is under pressure. Um, I can back myself into a corner where I have to push my way out and that's where I am. I need to perform and make major changes and get to the next level. So that's what I'm fighting for. That's what we're all fighting for. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you haven't, please like and subscribe this video guys and I will see you on the next one.